Hi, I'm Ricardo Ramirez, entomologist at Utah State University. Today we're here at Greenville Research Farm where we're standing in an alfalfa field that's on its second cutting. One component of an integrated pest management program is the sampling and monitoring of insect pest populations. In this video of fact sheet, I'll cover how to use a sweep net to sample for insect pests and how to use these sweep samples to make an informed decision about when to manage these pests. When people are sampling for insect pests in their fields, one of the problems is that they use their hats, which vary in size from one person to the next. So as you go to collect samples, what you're collecting in your hat is different from one person to the next. So sweep nets consist of a 15 inch diameter ring, a canvas bag, which fits over that ring, and a wooden handle or metal handle that varies in uh, length and also thicknesses. Now you'd want to choose a handle that is going to be comfortable to your height and also for your hands. This one happens to be uh, two feet by one inch in diameter. When you're selecting your net, just be aware that not to buy a butterfly net. They're not as durable. They don't have the canvas bag. Uh, they can rip easily. And the other thing is when you're sweeping through alfalfa, there are a lot of uh, thick branches that could potentially damage the net. Sweep net sampling consists of swinging the sweep net from one side of the body to the other in a 180 degree arc, keeping the net below the tops of the alfalfa plants. And so we'll take 10 uh, sweeps in a series. Take a series of 10 sweep samples in different parts of the field uh, to get a rep representative sample when alfalfa is 10 inches or taller. Consider using a Z, M, or U pattern in the field uh, so that way you get a representative sample throughout a field. Also avoid the edges of the field where uh, insect pest populations tend to be a little bit more variable and aren't representative of what's going on in the entire field. Once you collect your sample, you'll want to transfer your sweep sample into a plastic baggie by slipping the plastic baggie over the opening of the canvas bag, pushing the canvas bag so that the insects will fall out into your bag sample. Seal the bag and then this is when you'll be able to count the average number of larvae, aphids, or any other insects per 10 sweeps. To monitor the insects of concern, in particular for alfalfa, alfalfa weevil, and also aphids, you want to count the number of uh, weevil larvae or aphids and take the average number of these insects on a per sweep basis. For example, with alfalfa weevil larvae, when we find more than 19 larvae on average per sweep, this is when we would consider an active management strategy. To control them before they cause economic loss. Another benefit to sweep netting is that you not only collect the pest insects but you also collect beneficials. These are the insects that can feed on pest insects and that'll give you some information too as to how healthy the field is and whether or not beneficials can be incorporated into your pest management program. Once you've collected your insect samples, you can go to our website and look at fact sheets to identify the insect pests and also to look at threshold numbers that are available for each of the insect pests that I've talked about today. When sampling for insect pests, you want to start at the very beginning of the season before pests become a problem. That's what the monitoring is all about. And so once you do your first sweeps when the alfalfa is 10 inches taller or, or 10 inches or more, then you'll want to continue to monitor throughout the season, referring back to the fact sheets and the threshold uh, data that's available for each of the insect pests. 